In this video, we provide the solution to question number one for practice exam number four for math 1220, in which case we need to find the polar equation to match the provided graph here. Uh, and this is in fact a polar graph. It's some type of limousine. There is an inner loop here. Um, you can try to use some formulas that we've seen to try to grab this thing. But honestly, um, the best bet here is just process of elimination. All right. So, so four points that'll be interest to us will be the four quadrantial angles here. So when you have a zero, uh, angle, uh, notice this gives you the point where your radius is equal to 2. When you have pi halves, like so, uh, this would give us a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 radius. On the left-hand side, you also get a radius of 2 uh, when the when the angle is pi. And then here, because of the inner loop, you actually get this negative radius of 1 uh, when the angle is 3 pi halves. So when you're at 0, you get 2. When you're at pi halves, you get 5. When you're at pi, you get 2. And when you're at 3 pi halves, you're going to get negative 1. So that itself um, can actually help you with these things, because at the very least, you can plug those things in here. So like when, when if you just take, for example, when the angle is 0, that eliminates a lot of these. When the angle is 0, um, cosine of zero is equal to one, sine of zero is equal to zero here. So notice that if you plug in uh, zero, it's basically like cosine disappears. You get two plus three, which is five. That's not two. So it's not that. When you look here, um, if you plug in zero into sine, you get zero. So this term just vanishes, you get a two. So B is a possibility here. Um, here, you're gonna get five again, so that's a no. Here, you're gonna get six, that's a no. Here, you're gonna get three. Um, that's a no. And then lastly, you're going to get three again, which is a no. So honestly, just by using this one observation, when the angle is zero, the radius is two, this actually leads to the correct observation. Now, if that didn't rule out all of them, using the other three points will eventually rule it out. They're only, if you just look at the quadrantial angles by process of elimination, you'll find the correct, uh, the correct function. Uh, but heck, we did it with just the first one.